right, folks? You couldn't come here and not play this song. Let's play it right now. Yeah. Uh, first time in a while. So, what does it feel like to be to be back with those guys? Um, well, I mean, you know, to be to be fair, we never. It's nice to be out on the road again. Like we've done a bunch of shows here and there, like one-off gigs, fly in, do a show. We've like it's the emergency's always been part of the picture. Right now, we're really uh, enjoying playing as a three-piece, just because it gives me a lot of room on guitar. And it's kind of the way the band started, yeah. and I wanted this to be a bit of a return to uh, that kind of setup and that. Given, given room for everybody to play and the sort of tidiness of the three piece is kind of fun. Yeah. So how do you feel in, in sort of a stylistic way it differs from the last tour? Um, well, I think it's it's a little more... Like, I mean, there's an improvis a, a bit of an improvisational quality to the way we play, or, you know, it, it just sort of it morphs a little bit every night, you know, because it depends. it's like personality-driven and it's not just me, you know, it's yeah. me and the guys. Um, it's more rock and roll, I would say, probably, because there's more guitar solos and more just scrunk, for lack of a better word, you know, just... <laughs> um, uh, you know, whereas 3 was really a lot of acoustic guitars on that tour. I'm playing a bit of acoustic, and I do some song solo in the set every night, because I, I still really value that part of the show, plus it gives my voice a little bit of a break from singing over the band, as well as allows me to tell more stories when I'm there by myself. So I try and mix it up still, but this is much more of a, this is much more like the way we used to kind of roll, roll it out at Louis Pub, you know, <laughs> so it's nice to be back here. It's always been an ebb and flow for me, like, uh, and I feel like there was still some rock and roll on three, but not, but it was more, um, it was me playing everything, so it was much more uh, by design, you know, and, and, and square. Um, when I play with David Chris, there's more personalities at play in terms of the way the arrangements come together. Uh, and so it sounds more like a band. Um, because it is. You know, when you're playing everything by yourself, it's not a band. You're kind of. But Three was about the words and about the story and about the, the, the journey because it's a long record. I didn't feel like the personality of different players was going to play a huge part in it. I was more concerned with just getting 27, 30 songs down on tape. Slipping through the night Are you red or are you ready? Don't you think you might be afraid? It's just fun to be playing rock and kind of... And it's ragged, you know, sometimes and really... Uh, and I, I feel like it's just trying to, trying to get back to where... where we started this record is about... Um, about finding happiness and kind of like perfect world and you know uh, so I feel like our band kind of reflects that ethos a little because you know it's always there's always a, we, we sometimes we go off on tangents and and sometimes it pays off and other times it's like whoa <laughs> you know uh, but that's part of what makes it fun and that's what brings I think like there's some joy in that pursuit you know to just keep it loose yeah, I mean, I, I just I rhyme like annoyingly all the time, and I just incessantly. It's just like a, it's just a, I don't know if it's a, it's not a nervous habit. I just get a kick out of like, just trying to like connect dots as fast as I can with rhyme, mm -hmm. and so I just make stuff up on the spot, and some of that stuff we get goofy in the studio, and but sometimes like, the really, nursery rhymey kind of stuff that is really square, says what you want to say. Like that's what I find. It's a really subtle line and that's where some of the more playful songs in the catalog come from is just going you realize sometimes the obvious there's like you can get a deeper meaning behind it in a really subtle way if you if you stack a few things that are almost that are borderline cliche or really square rhymes but then 
there's this like other layer if you put the right you put a few of them together and you it actually means something. I don't know. Like, there's a song called "Tough Love" on the record that I think maybe displays that a little bit because there's like, I think there's some truth behind the song, but it's kind of fun. It's fun to sing. The lyrics are fun. It's playing with like some really familiar phrases and stuff like that. Yeah. Simple can be good. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, I do like iPhone notes in particular. Call Making iPhone <laughs> notes. <laughs> I still remember. It's catchy. Isn't it's it? great. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Um,